Welcome back. The world-famous tail Cinderella will be making its way to South Africa this festive season, but this time with a twist. Well, the classic fairy tale will be presented on ice. The Cinderella on Ice has won international critical acclaimed awards. This production is set to thrill the audience once more with its magical story. While performed by Russia's Imperial Ice Stars, this morning we chat to Tony Mercer, director and producer of the show, as well as Olga Sharutenko, who is a Cinderella. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Morning Lab. Good morning. Good morning. Tony, I'll start with you. Cinderella is one of the classic tales, classic fairy tales mm. that every young person has either read, has watched. We've seen many renditions of it. We've seen it across cultures, across languages. What makes this one so special? Well, I think firstly, it's on ice. <clears throat> so, of course, it's, um, it's very, very different. But I also think um, this is... It's not the classical fairy tale. This is not the Disney version. Uh, it's very much a Cinderella story. I think in life, you know, if you if you look at life, there's always tales of hardship. There's always something that's gone wrong somewhere in somebody's life, and it's how you overcome that so that makes it uh, for us to perform with such a beautiful tale to use, uh, and and it has a very what I call today feel. So instead of it being a, a, a fantasy um, where you know there's a, a fairy godmother, we don't do it that way, um, but we do it with a very today feel for you. All right. Let me come to you, Cinderella. You're very <laughs> beautiful, and I can see why Thank many you. young people all around the world would love to see you in action on ice. Firstly, how did you land the part, and how exciting has it been being Cinderella, who is really just an image of beauty, of grace, of uh, so many positive things for young people out there? Absolutely. It's uh, something amazing that, you know, obviously I, I try to work hard to get to get that part, but um, I am lucky to be in a production like this and uh, to get to this uh, beautiful story, a uh, beautiful tale. But um, as, as we said, you know, this, um, I would love to, you know, give this emotions to the people that it is real emotions and I could... Uh, you know, really, um, to have them as well in my life and uh, to bring them to the stage. Uh, I'm very excited and very excited to show it to the, to the audience, especially to the young audience. I know that all beautiful girls will be sitting in the auditorium and, you know, dreaming of the, you know, being a princess. And they, you know, they are little princesses. And it's um, just a beautiful tale for me to, to tell from, from the stage, to tell this beautiful story. It's so great to hear you say that you actually want to bring out those emotions to show young girls around the world that you are just as relatable even if you may come from a fairy tale Tony back to you the costing for um, the production mm -hmm. how long did it take where did you find your pool of talent and what's it been like touring and moving from city to city and country to country well, I think firstly the Imperial Ice Stars we all come from we I live in Moscow now, but the, the, the whole of the group comes from, uh, from Russia itself, apart from one person who plays our uh, little fortune teller. She's a girl called Fiona Kirk, and she's uh, down from Cape Town. But uh, basically everybody is from Russia. Um, we, have a, you know, we have a great time. I think you know, we're so lucky. We've toured 29 different countries, watched by about four and a half million people. And what's lovely, what's really nice for us is coming back here to South Africa. Last night was our very first show of this new production. It's the 10th anniversary. Um, and to get uh, that type of reaction from the audiences here in Joburg, and it's our longest running season, we're here for uh, six weeks. But the fact that we're so loved by a country which in reality doesn't know that much about ice skating is it's an incredible feeling for us. But I was going to say, it, it's a show which is very... It kind of crosses so many borders, boundaries. So if you're somewhere between six and 106, the show has something which you will love about it. And the Imperial Ice Stars over 250 competition medals between them. Russia does produce the best ice skaters. Not only great ice skating, but like with Olga, the ability to deliver such a role to you know to bring Cinderella to life, not just for young children, but for the older adults. Um, it's they're just so uh, so talented. 
I, th I think uh, South Africans in particular love the story because of how it changes and how we change. So if I watch it at 30, it's not the same. The, the message is, oh, the core of the message is almost the same, but the lessons are always new. And I think that's what we can take away from productions such as these. I think it is as well, because you, you actually think, okay, it's just an ice skating show. But it's actually not, because it can, we, we put them on a theater stage. Usually if you watch ice skating shows, they're in big arenas. But here you can see it live on a theater stage. You, you're that close to what the performers are doing. And they do it so well. So it's the same as Olga was saying, you bring the emotions to a young child, but also to someone who can be 25 or 30 or 40, and they can connect with what's happening on the stage and go away and think, this could be good. All right, we are out of time. But Olga, what can all young South African girls look forward to? And uh, Tony, where can we get our tickets? Take us from the venue, you know, we're, we're performing down at the uh, Teatro Monte Casino and then we move on down to Cape Town. Um, so I think it's through CompuTicket is the name of the, uh, of the ticketing yes, company ticket. or at the venue. Fantastic. Olga? Beautiful prints and the flying. I've got a uh, beautiful flying inside, inside the show and it's and beautiful dress as well. I'm <laughs> sure a lot of people will be inspired to take up ice skating after they see you in action. Thank you so much for your time. You're Thanks welcome. for coming Thank through, you. Tony. Uh, the renowned Imperial Ice Stars will be heading back to Joburg with a brand new performance, Cinderella on Ice. So whether you're a fan of the theatre or the ballet, don't miss out on this stunning and a breathtaking a season at the Teatro at Monte Cassino. And as uh, Tony has told us, you can get your tickets at Compute Ticket. Time for a quick break. We'll be back.